We're just about to pass our power generation boilers. These generate 75 megawatts of power, 25 megawatts each. Each boiler that you can see passing here has the same footprint as a house. Amazing, really. If you want to get a turbine, similar turbine run by wind instead of natural gas, to get 75 megawatts, which is the equivalent to power a small house, a small town in the UK, about 52,000 homes, then you're going to need about 42 megawatt turbines. And one turbine, one wind turbine, requires about 40 acres of land to operate efficiently because, quite frankly, their efficiency decreases with more turbines. If you have more turbines on site, they're taking wind energy from the other turbines. And of course, there's the HSE issues from catastrophic failures that you have to avoid by spacing your turbines accurately, precisely and safely so that they avoid collision if there is such a catastrophic failure. And in addition to that, to get wind turbines that make that kind of energy you need about 11,500 metric tons of concrete, 6,900 metric tons of iron ore to make all the alloys that are required, and then 207 metric tons of non-recyclable plastics. Just to give you an idea, to store that kind of energy, you'll need Tesla batteries. And the number of Tesla grade batteries that you'd need would equal about 2,300 metric tons. So you can quickly begin to see that natural gas is far cleaner and better for the environment right now than all of these, well, some of these renewables, particularly wind. So let's promote wind, yes, but let's also know that natural gas and radioactive stuff like nuclear is far cleaner and better for the environment right now. But if we don't promote renewables, then it will be to our detriment. Because if you put engineers and scientists and professionals on the job, we'll get it done for you. And if you don't, then woe betide.